All right, hey there, Aries. So I am finishing up the air and fire signs for you versus them. And I'm going <clears> to, <throat> I've been behind because I was uh, feeling under the weather this month. So um, I'm going to try to put as much out as I can the next few days as far as new reads. I don't know. We'll see. You guys are going to know this is your read uh, by, based off your energy and what your desired outcome is. So pay attention to that. If you guys don't resonate with that, check your other placements. Um, and if you're new, welcome. Uh, check the moon rising and Venus. All right. So let's just see what your energy is <clears throat> when it comes to the person on your mind. How are you feeling? Oh, you feel... Uh, you're you're feeling like it's a soul connection it's a deep connection but you're also sad and upset right now um you guys here's what i feel i feel like the person that you're dealing with you feel like something's been taken from you whether it's your heart space your love you give too much um I don't, I don't typically read reversals, you guys, but the five of cups coming in reverse tells me that, um, you don't want to be upset over this connection anymore. And I feel like you're probably too contemplating on whether I should just leave it. What the hell was that, you know, type of energy, but you do feel very, very drawn to this person. Um, you know, that there has to be something that changes in order for there to be something um, significant to happen. And it could just be that this person, um, acts manipulative. You've dealt with somebody who's manipulative, narcissistic, um, and you're over it. I almost feel too, you, you're just over feeling that, that energy, even though you have love for this person. All right. The, um, the two of cups, um, and the five of cups is cancer and Scorpio energy. The seven of swords is Aquarius energy. So you guys could be dealing with, um, cancer, Scorpio or Aquarius. Let's see what this person's energy is. <clears throat> <clears throat> all right so um their energy <clears throat> i don't know what's going on with my speaking um but this person is also not doing so good you guys um i'm not pulling energy to see what happened you're gonna know what what type of connection this is whether it's a long term whether it's something new whether it was a friend with benefit type of situation it could be any assortment of those so everyone's situation is going to be different i'm just explaining the energies right now all right but this person's energy you could have them blocked. They could be blocked. Um, all right. As far as like their phone text messages on social media. Um, it could be that this person's blocked right now. Um, if they're not blocked, um, I feel like this, uh, two of swords energy is this person, um, is not showing you, um, their true feelings. All right. I feel like the energy is there because this person is coming through with the three of swords, wanting to come out of heartbreak, wanting to come out of the loss that they feel while you guys have not been together. All right, the two and the um the two and three of swords represents Libra energy, so it could be that you're dealing with a Libra. Um, then you got the five and seven of wands, and the five of seven of wands is Leo energy. I'm just trying to ex express as much as I can through the cards, um, you know. So here's what I feel though. I feel like overall this person, I almost kind of feel this is um fighting war conflicted um type of energy um uh, stringing along if you guys were never in a real connection um this person's kind of copying to how they treated the situation if it if it was on them all right it could be too that you did this to them i don't know the situation you guys but it could be that this person's feeling heart heartbroken and kind of lost maybe even frustrated because of the dynamic di that dynamic all right the seven of wands coming through tells me that this person is most likely not <clears throat> dealing with anybody else um, because they can't get you out of their mind. All right. The seven of wands is also having to um, defend and stand up for how you believe or what your beliefs are, but also too in, in the aspect of a relationship. This to me tells me that this person only is focused on you and where the um, potential connection will go. All right, so let's just see what your desired outcome is with this. <clears throat> so your desired outcome when it comes to this, the judgment card is the angels of the past coming back. So I feel like what you're asking um, for when it comes to this connection, we have judgment. All right, judgment represented by Virgo. You got the chariot. Chariot is represented by Cancer. Um, but what I feel your energy is, is you do want to reconcile this, whether it's to reconcile it so that you can move forward with closure 
or to reconcile it so that you and this person moving forward. All right. But this is like to the chariot card. Um, this does um, show emotions. All right. There is emotion in the chariot. And it's like, you know, if you can't, if we can't talk, if we can't be honest with each other, then what's the point, right? Um, but I do feel like you're, you want to call this um, connection in or back in just because it's like it's time to move forward, whether together, whether separated, I need closure or we're, we need to close out the past so that we can move forward. And I feel like your desired outcome could actually be on either um, scale of that. You're going to know how you personally feel uh, when it comes to that. But let's see what this, um, let's see what their uh, desired outcome is. For Aries. Look at you guys. The death card showing back up. So their desired outcome. Um, there's a lot of major arcana coming through here. Um, uh, death is represented by Scorpio. The magician is represented by Gemini. And then we have temperance. It's represented by Sagittarius. All right. Um, so there's a lot of major arcana that's showing through. Uh, most likely all the signs of have are sitting here in one aspect or the other. This person, I feel, with death card is wanting to transform the connection. All right. Um, I feel like they're probably thinking about you heavy 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 and you could probably feel their energy um, when it comes to this person and what I mean by that is you could probably feel them thinking about you you probably feel like they're um, trying to see where you're at even they could even be um, reaching out to your friends or your family all right but ultimately what they want what their wish is when it comes to outcome is to bring balance back to this um, it's for each of you guys to bring understanding to this connection to have and embody a patience all right because temperance too brings um, peace it's love it's harmony it's bliss all right um, and two Again, I'm not trying to blame anybody for their misdeeds or wrongdoings, um, but this Knight of Wands energy as far as the outcome is, I, I just feel like this person is very, very passionate about you, um, regardless of who's at fault. To me, I say it takes two to tango um, in all aspects. You know, we have to take responsibility for our roles. It's not ever just, I mean it's, I, I want to say it's not ever just one-sided, um, you know. Um, but you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to judge you for what you've gone through, especially if this person has played with your feelings and emotions, lied to you or cheated on you and you were faithful, um, in, in the best ways that you can, even if the, con the connection never really fully came together, if that makes sense. All right. But the Knight of wands, um, this is um, somebody who's energetic, um, bringing that energy back to the connection, passionate, bringing the passion, restoring the passion. Um, it's inspired action, um, you know, and that's what I feel this person wants to do. They want to bring um, that inspired action back to this connection, have adventures, not move in haste, not be scattered with the energy and not get e easily frustrated by one another. All right. And I feel like... Um, it's just kind of weird, the energy of relationships today, because I feel like people, um, they more easily um, are okay with just letting things go, letting things be and not even trying. At relationships, I don't feel like they have, they should have to be hard work, but I mean, it's effort, man, effort uh, moves miles, right? So let's see what the mutual energy is between you and this person, your guys' higher selves. So your spirit energy, your soul energy, what you guys both want. What is the wish you guys want? <clears throat> you guys, um, that's what I was going to say. I, I, I had a feeling that this was a spiritual connection and I feel like you guys can see that. All right, so what you guys want as far as a team, all right, the soul connection, um, the tower card coming through, and I feel like it's to move past the um, less than desirable moments that you guys have. Embrace um, the catalyst for positive change and growth and um, use this as a, um, a learning tool to move forward. That's what you guys are saying um, as you're connecting at the soul level, okay? Um, instead of looking at this as a missed opportunity, I do feel like you guys are both wanting to see this come through as um, an, an opportunity to be received because um, what you do feel through it. The Hierophant card to me is confirmation that this is a soul level connection. This is a soulmate right here that you guys are dealing with and I feel like you both can see that and it's um, it would be too hard just to let it go, right? Um, it would be too hard just to, to, you know, like what, what, as I said earlier, what the hell is this? Like, what was that even all about if it just led to whatever happened um, for each personal um, happenstance, all right? 
So let's just see what your spirit guides want you to know about this connection. And this is also mutual um, energy. So the spirit guides for this connection. And this is your, your both you and this person. <clears throat> All right. So what your spirit guides want you guys to see, know, and understand when it comes to this connection. We have the King of Cups energy. Um, this represents Pisces and Aquarius. Um, but I feel with the... the um, the King of Cups, what what they wish for you guys to see um, is is to bring what needs to happen here that you guys need to face is um, you need to kind of install the emotional balance. So the yin yang energy, um, it needs to be it needs to be balanced. This is also um, being diplomatic, um, compassionate um, for releasing the moodiness or the moods that you guys have and not being emotionally ma manipulative. All right. Um, whether that was uh, your side, their side, or both you guys doing that, um, that your spirit guides just want you to recognize um, the King of Cups brings positive energy. All right. And I feel like some of you guys could be experiencing the more negative aspects when it comes to that King. All right. Um, the two of wands right here, I just feel is a, a representation of the potential of this um, connection right here. You guys have um, the opportunity to see abundant growth within this connection. But, you know, here in the 3D right now, um, it's up to you guys to kind of run that dynamic. But it does have full potential for you guys to see um, and receive a lot of wishes through this connection. But you guys do have to do the work. And I feel a lot of the work that's coming through here is um, emotional. All right. So balancing that out. So let's see what's coming through you guys in the next 30 days. What's going to be happening? Transfer, transforming even. <clears throat> in, the, in the next 30 days for Aries. All right. So you guys are going to be coming out of... Um, your own moodiness, all right? For those of you who have not talked to this person, there is gonna be communication coming through and I feel like that's on everybody's, um, everybody, the collective, everybody who's drawn here. You will be um, talking to this person for those of you who have uh, have not talked to this person, all right? Um, so I do feel like there is gonna be, um, there's really no positive way to spin this um, card, but I feel like you can take comfort in knowing that your rainy days are gonna see sunshine, okay? There's some things that you can't see, some things that you don't know. Even this person coming through as the moon, the shadow side. All right. But I do feel like you guys are going to see reprieve um, upon that. The darker moments that you haven't seen the shadow side, things are going to be coming to light. And I feel like that's going to be cleared, clarified by justice. Um, all right. So you can't see it right now, but you just need to actually be positive and remain hopeful that um, what you seek, what you want is going to come to you through this justice, even if you can't see it right now. All right, Justice, um, um, the moon card, and um, the moon card is ran by Pisces, and then we have Justice, it's ran by Libra. Um, but ultimately, uh, in the next 30 days, um, there is going to be success, there is going to be balance, there is going to be wishes um, that are brought in for the for the moments that you, you have not been able to, um, you know, rack your brain over and smooth those out. You got the communication card with that eight of wands, um, and that's taking action. So, um, whether it's you reaching out to this person or this person reaching out to you, it's not that it's going to be all perfect um, when you guys do communicate, but when it comes back together, you guys are going to have, a, I feel, a lovely experience. And I feel the positive energy of this card. And the moon card is just telling me what your fears um, have shown you are going to be removed by justice. So think positive, positive things happen. All right, Aries, I'm going to leave it there. You guys take it easy.